Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make mushroom tacos. But my slant is with mole sauce, so it's actually mushroom mole tacos. So we're gonna get right into it. What I have here, I have just a couple tablespoons of water in my pan. Do just a little bit more. Because we are not going to use oil for sauteing. Water works just as great without any of the added fat. And what I've got here, I've got uh, one onion and half a red pepper. We're just gonna get those frying. Let's put that over here. Okay, and while those are frying, uh, I've got an eight ounce package of mushrooms here that I just diced up. Um, you can dice it even finer than that, so it appears more like ground beef especially if you're trying to feed little kids, you know, that are, you're transitioning onto a plant-based diet and they're really fickle about eating vegetables. If you cut, cut them up just a little bit smaller, by the end, it looks like ground beef. So they might not be able to tell. So we're just gonna keep sauteing these up a little bit. So you want to just saute these up until, you know, until normal, like the onions are trans, slightly translucent. And then we'll add our mushrooms and some of the sauce flavor. Okay, so now they're about translucent. I'm going to add my mushrooms and the flavors. Got our mushrooms. And here is part of the secret. Cocoa powder. So there's about a tablespoon of cocoa powder. tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, roughly. And then we're gonna add just a little bit, maybe about a teaspoon of Bragg's liquid aminos. Or you can use coconut aminos because that is even less sodium than the Bragg's. And we're just gonna cook this down until the mushroom is reduced and um, until the liquid dries out. Because once you put your mushrooms in, at first it looks pretty dry and you'll think you need to add more water. Don't add more water because um, after a couple minutes, the moisture starts coming out of the mushrooms and then it'll be, there will be some liquid in there. So you just wanna cook them until all of that liquid is reabsorbed back up into the mushrooms and the mushrooms are well cooked. It takes about, about 10 minutes. And then I'll show you how to assemble, how I assemble my tacos. All right, so here are the done mushrooms. Uh, it did take, oh, it's between 10 and 15 minutes. It's actually really quick. So now I get to taste it. So you can put whatever you want on these tacos, but we usually do, I have some diced cabbage here, do a little cabbage, or you can do, you know, you can do lettuce or kale or any kind of greens really. Then some jalapenos, that's totally up to you. Tomatoes, you could do pico de gallo. And I usually have um, some little slices of uh, wedges of lime to squirt over it, but I just happen to be out of lime at the moment. And then here's the golden stuff right here. We've got a friend that calls this space cheese, but um, this, I'll show you the link below. It's on another video of mine. This is our nacho cheese. And this is the stuff that just makes it, hmm, gotta have the nacho cheese on there. And a little bit of salsa. Whoa, look at that, doesn't that look good? All right, here we go. Mmm. Mushroom mole tacos. Mmm. That is so good. You are going to love this recipe. So, the full recipe will be in the link in the details below and any other information about um, starting a plant-based diet. So just let me know what you think. 
and I'll see you next time. Mm -mm.